So you know how I did a video the other day saying I was quietly excited because um, I was hoping that maybe this is a bit of a cover up for, uh, for the deep state being taken down because I've seen quite a few things that sort of suggest that there's stuff going on behind the scenes that they don't want us viewing. And that got me quite excited. And what I was going to be quite excited is that literally every single one of us is affected by coronavirus. So this is bringing us together. We're all seeing what's going on. Um, I ain't really feeling quite so positive about it anymore. Um, because it's like one of those, whoa, that escalated quickly, Fandango. Not coronavirus. The numbers are steadily going up, but steadily, not exponentially. Not the way that they would, you know, if there was a pandemic, for example, you know, there'd be thousands now. It would be doubling every day. It's not. Well, it's not no, every four days, I think it would be doubling. I think that's what my daughter said. I don't know. Um, but the attitudes, it's like first we had panic buying. Now we've got ripping each other to bits for even walking out the front door. I've got a friend on Facebook and yesterday she said like i can't pass on coronavirus because i don't have it it's that simple some people just said well you're obviously simple one person called her a fucking moron it was like literally pile up everybody was sticking the boot in i felt so sorry for her i really did but she's she's made a tough stuff for her, actually but um you know she can handle it but it was like people were being vile at her they were saying horrible things and, you know, people are posting these statuses. People are actually really believing it. And they're saying, oh, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. And that's, like, my attitude of it. It's like, you know, I've been self-isolating for <laughs> donkey's years. Um, it's not really changed much for me. But, you know, like, if that, that's what you want to do, if you want to follow the government guidelines... Um, follow the government guidelines, wash your hands, sing happy birthday, that's a good thing. But like if there are people out there that aren't, that are, are healthy and that can go out and do shopping for more people than themselves and stuff like that, you know, like don't be like, you're a bastard, you left your house. Do you know what I mean? People have still got to shop, people have still got to go out to work, not just doctors and nurses. People who work at the co-op have still got to go to work. Do they deserve people to go fucking bastard as they walk down the street on the way to work? You know, like, I think, um, like, last week, Boris Johnson announced he was going to pull all this money out of thin air. When it comes to keep, keeping... When it comes to universal credit, couldn't do it. People were suffering left, right and centre. When it comes to building a high-speed railway... Got it, mate, 106 billion. This, they're like, yes, we're going to pay 80% of the wage, people's wages to businesses so that you, you can be off work, all right? And the country's gone like, oh, what, what? Oh, Bojo, yes, he's fantastic, is Boris. And he's not said where that money's coming from. We don't know what the impact on society is going to be, what impact the economy is going to take. Where is this money coming from? You know, he's just like, weird. Yay! Week off work, four and a half work. However long he says we've got to be off work, we're off work. And he's going to pay for our wages. Yeah, Bojo! I don't think that you're going to be thinking quite the same way when we come out of this and he explains where that money's come from and what is, you know, it's, if it's there to just get like that why haven't we had it like that why is it that i bet you i can't find it received a letter about me um council tax why are we putting your council tax or got a graph this is the money we got from the government last year this is the, the well, this is like four years ago then that that year then that year and then this year we've got this the government are giving less and less money to people to just keep the country running to just maintain the parks and the walkways and the grass and tr the trees and just tidy stuff up. Empty the dog shit bins every now and again. 
things like that, not got the money for it. All of a sudden, seven billion, got it. Don't believe them, just ain't buying it. Do you know what I mean? I'll continue to wash my hands. I'll continue to stay away from old people. That's my level of trust in these people. That's all I'm gonna do. I will help people wherever I can. I will do my little videos and explain what I think is going on or what I see as dodgy. I will encourage you to love each other because we are all in this together. We are all in this together. We have to be a team on this. We can't be ripping each other down because we do something that other people ain't doing. You know, everybody's got their coping mechanisms. Everybody's got their way of living their life. We're all different, but we're all together. Let's act like it. Let's start to be friends and not enemies. We need each other right now. We need to be there for each other. And we need to be seeing what's going on, not just blindly believing. Because the next thing you'll do is get yourself in a bloody queue to be vaccinated. Once they know that they're... Because literally, we're swallowing everything. We're swallowing everything that they bloody pump down our throats. And going like, oh, yeah. And Bojo gave some money. So, got to be telling the truth. Go, Bojo. <sighs> That's it for now. Speak to you soon. Bye. Keep happy. Keep safe. Keep loving.